In this video, we will continue the development of the home page and concentrate on the latest three news in the sidebar. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder. Let's return to index.cfm and I will run that page in the browser. So this is the latest news section of the sidebar. It shall contain the latest three news with the date of the news, the title of the news, and of course I want to make that a link to the individual page of that particular news. So let's return to Cofusion Builder. This is the code of that section right here. So just below the H1 title, I will use a CF set tag to create a new variable that I will call side news. Now we'll make that equal to the new service that is in the application scope. And now we'll call the get latest news function once again, but this time I want the latest three news like that. So now that the data is available to the page, I will go inside of that UL to create a CF output block. And I want that CF output to loop over the side news query. And inside of that CF output, I will cut paste one of those two li tags like that. And now I will modify this one. So the destination of the link is going to be news.cfm. And I want to pass the news ID URL parameter and make it equal to the FLD news ID piece of data that is in the side news query. For the date, I need the date format function. Remember that it takes two arguments. The first one is the news creation date. It's the data that I want to actually format. And this data is also part of the query. And the second argument here is the mask that I want to use, which is the month day in this case, like that. Now, for the news title, that's very simple. I just need to output here the FLD news title that is in the query, in the side news query. And now some housekeeping. I delete the last li here. And I can safely save and run the page to see if it's working. So it is working, but you see I have two small problems. The first problem is that some news titles are too long for that sidebar. The second problem is that the first news here in the sidebar is the same as the news that is in the main area of the page because it is the latest one. So let's correct those two problems. For the first one, which is the length of the title, it's quite simple because there is that function of cold fusion called left. And that left function takes two arguments. The first one is the piece of data that you want to modify. So the news title and the second argument is a number. And in that case, I take the 21st characters of the news title from the left of the title. And I will supply three little dots here. So if I save and run that page, you see that I limit the title to the first 20 characters. And then I have those little dots that tells me that the title probably is longer than that. Now for the second problem, what I will do is return to ColdFusion Builder. And I will ask the get latest news function here to return four news instead of three. Now I will also ask this CF output to start the loop at the second row of that side news query that contained the last four news of the database. So let's add here the start row attribute and make it equal to two. This means that in the side news variable, I retrieve four news, but I only display the second, third and fourth news of that query. Let's save and run that page to see if it works. And you see that now I have the second third and fourth latest news in the sidebar and the one latest news here in the main area of the page. In the next video, we will continue with the development of this homepage and we will concentrate on the next events section of the sidebar.